in the greatest name of almighty allah voice rahman and rahim welcome back to the dr nabs lectures so you know very well that we have started the videos on the clinical practices so this is the first video from the pediatric section so in this video we will talk about the palpation of the anterior fontanelle of the child palpation of the posterior fontanelle of the child size and shape measurement methods and also we will talk about the clinical significance of anterior fontanelle so let's start to palpate the anterior fontanelle first of all you have to put your hands like that thumb should be at the side of the frontal bone and palm should be at the level of the parietal area and put three fingers at the level of the fontanelle and start palpating like that one palpate the level of the fontanelle along with that you have to palpate for the pulsation normally you will feel the pulsation here and this is a normal okay also you have to watch at the level of the fontanelle sometimes this fontanelle is basically sunken if you feel this is sunken or breasted so this is related to the pathology now we will talk about the posterior fontanelle like that we have to keep three fingers on the posterior fontanelle and start palpation like that one so we have to palpate at the level of the two parietal junction and two occipital junction like that one to palpate like that and in sometimes we are also palpating the junctions like for example if we talk about the front side we have the frontal junction should be here and this is a coronal junction this is a sagittal junction like that sometimes we have to also palpate the junctions of this in order to find out any pathological thing if we didn't find any kind of pathological change so it is normal basically now we will talk about its size and shapes of anterior fontanelle and posterior fontanelle so when we talk about the anterior fontanelle it is basically present at the junction of two frontal and two parietal bones and when we talk about its shape its shape is basically the rhomboid shape like that its shape is basically rhomboid shape and when we talk about its normal size its normal size is basically 2.5 cm by 2.5 cm so it closes by the age of 9 to 18 months after the birth and when we talk about the posterior fontanelle the posterior fontanelle is basically present at the two parietal junctions uh, two parietal bones and two occipital bones like that and the shape is basically the triangular like this and its normal size is basically 0.5 cm and it closes by the age of 1 and 1/2 month after the birth in order to measure the anterior fontanelle basically we have the two important methods one is basically anterior posterior like this anterior posterior and horizontal line so this is the a this is a b and this is a c and this is a d so multiply that you will get the normal value of this so this is one one is basically anterior posterior and horizontal line like that one and second method basically we have the to measure the measured from the mid side of this like this one this is a this is b and this is c and d so you will multiply that you will get the values of this one now we will talk about the clinical significance of anterior fontanelle if the anterior fontanelle is delayed in the closure it could be because of the a number of factors like first we have the rickets and the rickets there is a delay in the closure of this one hydrocephalus and the congenital hypothyroidism achondroplasia osteogenesis imperfecta and the down syndrome and the second most important thing is that if there is a premature anterior fontanelle or the small anterior fontanelle it could be because of the cariosynthesis craniosynthesis and uh, if it is sunken it could be because of the dehydration into the child 
If it is bulging, it could be because of the increased intracranial pressure or the hydrocephalus. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this video and do subscribe to Dr. Rajan Lectures.